Good morning, my lovers. Oh, it's a much nicer day today. It's cool, it's cool. It's getting cold, lovely. Oh, it's gonna to be top temperature at 23 Celsius. Oh, it's lovely, instead of 32. Oh, and it's gonna rain next week. Woohoo, it's gonna rain. We haven't had any rain for a month. All those people out there are complaining at me about it. Their ground's too hard, they can't dig holes. Oh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> so, get a CTX. Doesn't seem to bother, uh, dry ground don't seem to bother it too much. Uh, now I've figured out how to set, set, up, set it up for dry ground. Yep, it's gonna be cool for the next week and we're gonna get rain, woohoo! Right, I'll see you on the field. I've made it, I'm here, and I've got a signal. It's got a huge coin ball. Look at where the coin ball was, look. Huge great hole. And it's a thing. Mm. I'm not entirely sure it's an ancient artifact. Ooh! Ooh! Ah, it's broken. What a shame. One of my favourite implements of all time. It's a barrel tap key. Mmm, beer! But unfortunately it's a broken one. Lovely jubbly. Right, this, I found this next to what looks like a cellar hole in the middle of the field. So it might have been some sort of little shed for something. And they obviously had beer here. Mmm, beer. Right, on to the next. Oh, look at this signal I got here. I reckon I'm onto a horde. It's either a horde of silver denarius, oh yeah, 50,000 of them would be nice, or perhaps a Bronze Age axe. Yeah, it's, it's looking long, it could be a Bronze Age axe, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Still, I think I prefer the 50,000 silver denarii. Oh. Mm. Can't see any silver coins. Still there. Huh. Somewhere. Oh. oh, it's in the clock. It's too close to the old uh, holder. I don't, I don't think it's going to be 50,000 denarii, not in that little spot. I can see something, my lovers. It's a pesky aluminium pot. Oh, what a letdown. I thought I was onto something then. Oh, oh, oh. Right, on to the next. <laughs> oh, look at this down here, my lovers. 
just a few feet away I had a signal that turned out to be a bit of lead. And just over here I had another signal that I thought was exactly the same sort of signal. So I thought it was going to be a bigger bit of lead. But it's not. It's a buckle. And it looks quite old. Oh yeah, it's a little shoe buckle. Probably 200 years old. Intact shoe buckle. Right, I'm going to give this a gentle clean up and I'll get back to you. There is my lovers, all cleaned up. And on the back, it's been a cast and you can even see the file marks where they uh, finished it off, look. Handmade. Lovely, looks like silver but it's not. I tried cleaning a bit of it and it didn't come up, so not silver. It is pewter of some description. Right, lovely jubbly. On to the next. Go, oh, I got a signal in here, my lovers. Ooh, can we see it? Uh, oh, I can see something there. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely that. Something just there. Oh, is it going? Ah. Ooh. Ooh. There's a thing. Come on. Oh. Ooh. 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 Ah. Ah, what's that then? What is that? Is it a space rocket? Well, I can't see nothing on there, I don't think. Nope. It's some sort of badge, I would think. Or maybe off a horse, horse harness, buckle thing. Horse decoration, maybe. Alright, I'm going to give it a, give it a gentle dry brush in. And we'll see what it is. Yeah, I think it's a space rocket. It's got these secondary little grooves on either side there and there. Yeah, I think it's definitely a space rocket. Yep. Hmm. On to the next. Oh, I think I might be onto my first coin of the day. Oh, I've only been here four hours. An imprint. Or is it the coin? Oh no, it's definitely the imprint. Right, so the coin's in the hole somewhere. Oh, I don't think it's a coin. It's a thing. It's coinish. It's got a little rim. Oh, and it's got a little rim on both sides. That's a bit weird. Right. And give this a gentle clean up. Yeah. Looks like a coin that's had its edges all bashed in. Which is a bit odd. Right. And give this a clean up and I'll see if I can see anything off of it. It's a bit weird. Yeah, I think it's a Georgian coin that's had its edges all bashed in for some reason. 
is a bit weird. I can't give it a rubber dub dub because I'm, it's quite sharp, these little edges. It's dead weird. And I think I can just about see a bust on there facing to the uh, left. So it might be George II. So what I'll do is I'll show you where it comes. It comes up reasonably high. So I think that's a George II coin. It's been um, defaced. Treason, that is treason. We strung up for that. Oh. Oh. I tell you, it might not be so hot, but it is humid. Oh, right, I wasn't digging. I haven't been digging much today, so I thought I'd come onto this coin field. Oh look, mackerel sky. There's a front coming in. It's going to rain. Woo! Oh, so I thought that I'd come onto this coin field. I think they must have had events here in the past because it's strewn with uh, pre-decimal coins. So uh, I thought I'd come on here and see if I could find any silver ones. I did find two half crowns uh, when I first came to these fields, just over there. So they've got to be some silver ones on here somewhere. So I'm going to have a, a swig of coffee. I bought some coffee. got some water and I got a little bit of coffee so I'm gonna have a swig of coffee and uh, puff on me vaporizer and I'm gonna dig up some pre-decimal coins for you now look at this my lovers first signal money on that being a coin. Oh. Uh. Bit of lead. Ugh. What's that doing on my coin field? Anything on it? Nope, just a bit of lead. Ugh. Oh, this was a crummy signal. I almost walked away from it. I didn't think it was going to be a coin. Oh, that's a bit different. Oh, it's a, I think it's a, a really old 5p or one bob. Uh. Yeah, one shilling down the bottom there. 1960. Oh, so I nicked it a bit. I'll get some wire wool on that later and bring it up like new. Elizabeth II. Yeah. Well, almost silver. <laughs> right. Oh, look at this ear. That was in there. Like that. And it just popped out. It's a cow knob. Should have a little nick somewhere. Oh, can't see any nicks. Quite an old one, it's all pitted. Well, that's what it is, my lovers. I'm pretty sure of it. It's a cow knob. You put these on that cow's horns to stop them from injuring themselves. Lovely jubbly. We've got something down in here. It's quite small. I'm not going to say it's a coin because I don't. The signal wasn't very good.
Nope. Nope. Oh, I can see something. Shaped like a Celtic cock ring. Or it could be a horseshoe. <laughs> oh, look at that. How about that one? I bet that long belonged to that Celtic warlord, King Dong. Oh, it's a whopper. Right, on to the next. I reckon I got another coin here, my lovers, somewhere. Is that it? That's it. <gasps> I was going to say, I thought it was gold. <laughs> it says one shilling. It's silver! I knew there had to be silver on these fields somewhere, my lovers. Knew it. Oh, but it's a gold colour, look. How annoying. <laughs> that made my, uh, gave my heart a flutter when I turned that over. You know, the ground has made it go gold. Oh. Oh, more silvery that side. Oh, 50% silver. 1944. 1944. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not gold. Unfortunately, starting to come more of a silvery colour. Looks quite nice actually, sort of a goldy colour. I get the dirt off and I give it a bit of a rub, sort of a background goldy colour. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I had a gold coin then. Oh, what a... Oh, I feel like swearing, my lover is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> oh, right. On to the next. Look what I just pulled up from way down there. I got myself an oxen shoe. From when the fields used to be ploughed with cows. Yeah, apparently... Lots of people used to use cows years ago, but it was more of a like keep up with the Joneses when people started using horses and they were a bit more uh, reliable, less uh, temperamental horses. You could sit on them and uh, from behind and give them a little tap with your, with your whip and they'd do things for you, but cows were a bit more, um, oh, had a, they had a mind of their own, so they'd charge off all over the place and they were a bit more unruly so that's why they stopped using cows right on to the next oh that's it me lovers I'm off to the pub for some jars of ale Woohoo! it's been a lovely cool day for change we got clouds in the sky oh it's been lovely I can taste the beer now. Mm. <laughs> Cheers! Cold blows the wind of my true love and gently drops the rain. I have never had but one true love.